Josh, thanks for a couple minutes this morning. Hello. Hello to all of you guys. All right, we'll uh, go over to Michael Coe. Hi, Joshua. So we had Sam Howell here a few minutes ago. He was talking about how since the offensive line is such a veteran group this year that you guys, that it's a lot easier to communicate this, um, even in a hostile road environment like Blacksburg. How comfortable do you feel um, knowing that all the guys around you are veterans and they're not going to be, uh, you know, big eyed coming into a road environment like that? I feel great because, you know, we have a lot of starts under all of our belts, too. And then also we've also we've also been inside some big time games like the Orange Bowl, the good gaming in Miami. And then like we learned a lot. So I feel very good about how it ever. We want will still be focused and not let the noise or the crowd or the fans affect any one of us. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's go back over to Greg Barnes. Hey, Joshua, to kind of build off that, um, we've all made a big deal about the, the starting five offensive linemen coming back. The, kind of the big storyline, though, was, you know, would this team be able to build depth behind the starters? Do you feel like the the backups for the starters up front are, are kind of where they need to be so you guys can get a little bit of rest? Yes, 100%. I think that the probably one of the biggest improvements that happened in our team in camp and spring is that both on the on the offense and defense that our second team guys have made that big jump. So like now we've had we have way more depth than we've ever had in the first two years with coach. So yes, I feel very good that they can easily come in and there will be no you won't even tell the um you won't even tell the the um the difference okay. also wanted to ask you about virginia tech what what kind of stands out to them on film when, when you start looking at that defense they're big they have a lot of good um defense the Defensive lineman too. They have um number thirty-eight, who's real big. He's long. They also have um Jordan Williams, who just came from um who just came from Clemson too. He's big, strong, powerful, and then also too. They have the same guys too that that were all, that were all are ready on the team too. So we know that they have a very good defense, and they're and they are also a very good good team. So all so we know we have our hands full, and we have to be. We have to come there to be ready for a for a fight. Thank you. Okay, uh, Andrew Jones. Hey, Josh. What is your excitement level? You think the team's excitement, energy level is going into a very highly anticipated opener in a tough environment? I think every single one of us on. The team is excited, like probably more excited than we've been in the past eight months all because like we're finally about to hit somebody that's not our teammate too. And plus, we also know how big this game is. So we know all the 
what the um what the what the media is talking about and how and 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 how highly ranked we are right now so we know we have to go in and every day of practice and every every um every game too we have to prove we have to um prove it too that we that we deserve to be there so we're excited to also have a chance to prove that too Staying on that, are you kind of anxious to see what certain elements of the team are all about? We've, we've heard a lot about, you know, who's going to step in at wide receiver and a lot of talk about Josh, you know, replacing Michael and Javante and, and some, and Eugene on defense replacing Sam or, or Chaz rather. Are you kind of excited, just anxious to see what certain aspects of the team end up looking like Friday night? Cause you have an idea, I would think in fall camp, but a game is something different. I wouldn't say I'm anxious, but I'm more excited. Um, because I know I've seen them work. I've seen them pull. I've seen them for eight months now work hard, work very, very hard. So I know they will be ready to to come out and do what, what we know they can do. So then they will show the the rest of the world what they can also do too so i'm just more excited for all of them because it's it's because it's their chance for them to actually go out so yes well thank you appreciate that you all right uh we will uh we'll close up today with uh, cl brown Hey, uh, first, I just want to, to clarify, like, when, when you have your name in print, do you prefer Josh or Joshua? Either or. I'm fine with. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I just didn't want to assume when I put Josh, I didn't want to assume anything. So um, what's the one thing that, you know, given that the pandemic hit and, you know, crowds were limited and everything last year. What is the one thing that you look forward to, again, having a, a life-size crowd and an environment um, on Friday? What's the what's the one thing you really missed about that? One thing I missed about it was I'm pretty sure every, 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 um, every, every, every um every person will tell you is just like the feel like fans just make everything feel so much different like the environment is different like it feels like an actual actual game day like you have people screaming their heads off just 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 so just so it can um help their team win and then too if you're also the if you're also the if you're also the o the o way team too you also hear fans stop screaming and sh and what's it called and screaming and shouting every time you do something good so like that just the feel of it is just so much different and like that's a feel every person, every every sports fan, you know, can't wait to feel a a, a getting to. All right, thanks, man. All right, Joshua, thanks for a couple of minutes this morning. We appreciate it. All right, you guys have a nice good day. Thank you. You too, sir.